we go. Make sure to check your gear every now and then. You never know when something you've picked up might come in handy. Got it. I'll give him a look. There are plenty of towns and villages across Sandland. We should stop by if we come upon any. Won't the townspeople be scared of us demons, though? Surely. Monsters? That growl sounds promising! We must be getting pretty close. Sand flowing in. Where does it go from here? Who knows? It's a mystery far beyond our understanding. Maybe we'll know in a thousand years. Monsters were just you groaning? Take it easy. You're all. Huh? You know this guy, old man? No. I'm sorry, but I don't recognize. You wouldn't. We met over 20 years ago. I was scared stiff up on a high place then, too. And you saved me. Wait, you're not that boy Xion, are you? That's right! I was crying so much that I didn't get a chance to thank you. I always regretted that. And I'm glad we got that chance. What have you been up to? How about we get him down from there before you two start catching up, hmm? Ah, yes. Let me lend you a hand. <sighs> Seems like I got down in one piece. So, what are you up to these days? Well, I've become a painter. I'm still just an apprentice, though. An artist, eh? You sure have grown up. No wonder I couldn't peg you as that kid who would start crying at the drop of a hat. <laughs> I may not be a child anymore, but I'm still just as much of a scaredy cat. What about you, Mr. Rao? From what I can see, you're on the road with some demon friends? <laughs> You got some beef with demons? <laughs> Prince, knock it off. We're currently traveling using Spino as our base of operations. Spino? 
I... It's a work in progress, but it's a good town. You know, I've been looking for a place to settle down. If it's good enough for you, then I'm sure it is for me. They always have the welcome mat out. Ah, but are there demons living in Spino? Trust me, demons aren't as fearsome as you've heard. Are you sure? Well, they don't look that scary. Ah, come on, old man. You're killing my rep here. <laughs> Sorry. Then my mind's made up. I'm moving to Spino. As soon as I pick up my belongings, I'll head right there. Take care of yourself, all right? I will. Bring me any rare items you find. I'll make it worth your while. Hey, good to see you, yes? How'd the monster thing turn out? <laughs> Piece of cake. One hand tied behind your back, huh? That Actually, there weren't any monsters at all. Just you was stuck up a cliff making all sorts of weird noises. Can see why they freak people out so To my surprise, it was Xion. An old acquaintance of mine. He's moving to Spino. Treat him right, would you? Understood! Yeah, thanks again! I try not to stick your foot in it next time, okay? Y you know you're just giving me ideas! He's definitely gonna get into trouble again. Rao was right. Spino really does seem like a lovely place. My paint shop is up and running. Drop by when you have time. Thank you so much. See you. Hey there.
Thank you so much. See you! It's the leader of the raptors. I really cannot recommend fighting it unarmed. According to the map, this area is near the center of sand. Wow! So we can reach a bunch of places from here, huh? Not really. The steep cliffs make traveling north or south of here a serious challenge. Pretty inconvenient for a central hub. that noble. Only death awaits us if we don't help each other. Huh. I guess.
Royal Army soldiers all over Sandland? There's even a bunch near our village. are stationed near the royal capital. It can be a lot more hit and miss the farther you get away from there. You'll also see supply units traveling around as they transport goods to bases. Those are probably the ones who pass near our village. village always used to be where it is now? As far as I know, there is no record of us moving. Staying in one spot for so long is a sign of good governance. Maybe you humans should try moving less. You'll pay for this. <laughs> that was easy. What was up with that guy? Lot of these guys stealing to get by that's the world we live in hmm sounds like they can't complain if we take their treasure off their hands then
hard fighting in cramped spaces. We're going to need to secure an escape route, or we'll be surrounded before we know it. Watch your back at all times. Shaking, you know. Just leave already if you talk. The kid. Well, why? They're they were gonna take me too. But Sis said she'd work enough for two people. She's frail, though. I doubt she could. We only borrowed that money in the first place to help her get well, you know. But it all backfired. Just go save her then. I would if I could. But we're talking about the worst outcasts of the diamond. I could never face them. Can't say you're wrong. That's why I'm going to find a town to go work and save money. Then, I'll hire someone strong enough to defeat those bands. Hmm, how about I take care of them? It's too dangerous. I'm the feed prince. Ben you sure are confident, but I still don't have any money to thank you with. I gave everything we had to Sis when she left. <laughs> I don't need anything as useless as a human's gratitude. I just don't like it when someone acts like they're eviler than me. You're really cool, you know? Well, don't insult me like that. Anyway, where are those... I don't know ex Northeast. Oh, wait! I'm coming with you. My sister went there alone because of me, so I have to help save her. You'd just be dead weight. Wait here. But... I... <laughs> We're not the only travelers out here. We should think about stopping by that campsite they're using ourselves. It's a communal camp that's open to all travelers. Talk about convenient! It's the leader of the raptors. Watch out for its fiery breath in particular. probably find traveling merchants on the main roads. They roam over sand, peddling their wares to all comers. Hello, travelers, huh? If we find any, let's stop and compare notes with them. You guys the diamonds? 
Huh? You kidnapped a girl named Terasu. Where is she? You a friend of hers? She's back over there resting in the cave. Completely useless. Can't go five steps without needing a break. Well, I'll be taking her off your hands, so call her over. Just who do you think you are? Hey, hey. It's no use trying to intimidate a fiend. Now hand her over, and I promise not to crush you like a bug. You ba- Did no one ever teach you that it- You're the- Nuh-uh. Uzume said you- Doesn't- Didn't- Ugh. He's got the upper hand, Prince. N not true. Your stupid human logic doesn't apply to a fiend like me. Oh, yeah? Well, your demon logic doesn't apply to us humans. If you want the girl that badly, bring us one million zenny. Is that how much her dad borrowed? Nah, he just borrowed 10,000 at first. But that's the power of interest, baby. It shot up to one million and... That's beyond insane. Shut up. Now cough up or get out. don't even respect contracts. You're the evilest being I've met. <laughs> Thanks. That's enough out of you. Get them, boys. Take that. So far, so good. You disres I'm a fiend. Divine punishment doesn't scare me. Now that that's done, he said that she's in the cave. I'm sorry for fainting. I'm fine now. I can work. So you're Terasu. I drove off the bandits. Don't worry. Huh? Who we came to get you. We're taking you back to Uzume. I can... Ah! Was that... Uzume? Uzume? This is all her fault for flying at me like that! For this. Don't. Revenge won't bring Uzume back. Maybe not. What do you want to do now? Now? Uzume's dream was for us to open a store together. So, maybe I'll do that somewhere. Oh, but I guess I can't now. No town would welcome a former bandit. I doubt there'd be a problem in Spino. He's right. They'd welcome you with open arms. If there's really a place like that, I guess I could try. Thank you.
Thank you for coming. can't come to terms with just how vast the outside world is. Don't want to think about how hard it would be to get around without vehicles. But it used to be even bigger, and there were no vehicles. Civilization truly made the world smaller. People used to pass through here all the time. Now, the entire area is deserted. The neat roads disappeared under the sand, and only deadly creatures replaced them. Maybe humans disappearing isn't always a good thing. They'll probably come back when the water does. or if we dug up the demon village. I'm not sure, though I can say with confidence that would make the King of Demons very mad. An 
floor so rare it's worth making my dad mad for? Yeah, there's no way that actually exists. can't come to terms with just how fast speed up before we sink into the sand. Idiots apparently still haven't learned. You don't mess with the Fiend Prince. Uh-oh! Beelzebub's still alive and kicking! Say what?! So, uh, does he look mad? Uh, very. He's glaring right at us. <laughs> you two, take care of my ride. And you? Kick some swimmer butts! Oh no! Fight! You're up against the biggest, baddest criminals in Sandland, the swimmers! Take that! Time to join forces, boys! Oh, Here I go! Do you... 
believe that spring actually exists? Can't say. But what I do believe in is the old man. If he says there's a spring, I bet he's right. If, and I mean if you find it, would you maybe let us swim there too? We might call ourselves the swimmers, but my sons never got the chance to so much as splash around in a kiddie pool. Eh, do what you like. Just one left! How you like this? Try and hit me! Dang, I missed! Stay back! <laughs> All right! you right for making me run all this way. Yikes! A freaking sandstorm? What lousy timing! There's nowhere to hide around here! There's a huge rocky cliff over there! Let's hurry! <laughs> Crap! We're gonna be sent flying! The cave! Talk about Lucky! Why is there light from deeper in? Yes, there we go. I wonder just how far the prince got off to. Uh, we should have made him take a walkie-talkie with him. Man. Uh, say something, thief? No, that wasn't me. Hey, old man! Prince? Where are you shouting from? Hello? Did you forget about my telepathy? I don't know, where? The spring! I found your legendary spring! Can it be? You really made it to the spring? What? You telling me the word of a fiend's not good enough for you? Sorry, so where is it? I'll show you. 
This is Are. May I? What is it, General Are? I'm in. You hardly ever contact me to. Oh! Don't tell me you've gotten rid of Shiva already! My apologies, sire. I see. Supreme Commander Zeyu just told me something. He said you had personally ordered him to carry out the genocide of the Peachy and the destruction of the tank brigade 30 years ago. What? Why would he tell people that explosion was deliberate now of all times? A anyway, that is a bold-faced lie. Z Zeyu came up with that entire plan all on his own. I see. Yes, I am still pursuing Shiva, sire. All right, out. I, I can't believe it. It's true. All of it. Put me through to General Shiva, now. What? It's inside this rock formation? In incredible! I, I can't believe it. This... I know, right? Aren't you impressed? Okay, let's split up and look around. Hold up, that's the wrong way. I am the chief of this village. Tell me, 
What is your business here? I was searching for the spring. A demon? No, I came with my friends, Thief and Rao. Rao? If what we heard on the radio is correct, isn't that the name General Shiva goes by now? Yeah. Then you're saying Shiva's at our doorstep? Oh my. He only did what he did 30 years ago because he was being lied to. When you go back, tell him the past is forgiven. And I have a request. Way ahead of you. Don't worry, we'll keep this place a secret. You Need anything from the outside world? Bet Rao'd be happy to bring it by later. Oh, that would help immensely! We'd love as many canned goods, uh, articles of clothing, and shoes as you can get your hands on. You got it! Hey, what's going on? Did you find something? Yeah. Some peachy survivors. And they're... I told them the truth about what happened 30 years ago. W what My god. So they... weren't wiped out after all. Forgive me. Prince, I have no right to ask this of you. But could we just leave this place be? I'd like to let the peachy keep living in peace here. I figured you'd say that. I already told the Peachy that we'd forget we ever saw this place. I should have known you'd say that. Out of everyone I've met, I've never known anyone with a soul as pure as yours. Is that any way to compliment a fiend? Oh, right. I asked if they wanted anything. And they said canned food, clothes, and shoes. Of course. Once this is all over, I'll load up a truck with anything I can get and deliver them here. So, what do we do now? We have to find the King's water source. There's something fishy about it. I just know it. Yeah, it's not gonna be easy. We don't even know where it is. And it's definitely gonna be well protected. The radio? Who in the world? Hey, flip that switch to put it on speaker. This is General Lare. Um, I'm, uh, just talking to myself, all right? <clears throat> it sure would put us in a tough spot. If anyone were to follow the dried up riverbed all the way to its southern end, wouldn't... If they did, they'd find the army's water source and discover the truth of the terrible secret there. And this would be especially bad timing for that, considering... 
that I just ordered all the hard-working soldiers defending it to take some well-deserved vacation. I could use a break myself after hearing straight from the king that the events of 30 years ago transpired exactly as Thief said they did. Hell of a shock. I nearly burst a blood vessel. Over. Now I'm feeling in the mood to talk to myself as well. There are still men of honor serving in the Royal Army. I can see more hope for Sandland's future than I have in a damn long time. My thanks. You think Ari's gonna get in trouble for telling us all that stuff? He's well aware that Zeo will discover what he's done before long, and that he will be punished for it. But then why did he tell us? What does he stand to gain? Perhaps it's in his blood. His father was a great man, too, after all. It's under the sand, Prince! He could surface anywhere! No, I know! Under the sand, Prince. He could surface anywhere. Maybe we can lure it out with a powerful hit to the ground. It's under the sand, Prince. He could surface anywhere. Maybe we can lure it out with a powerful hit to the ground. Under the sand, Prince. He could surface anywhere. Maybe we can lure it out with a powerful hit to the ground. Take the time to stop and observe your surroundings every now and then. You just might make some exciting discoveries. And if we can find some loot as a result, even better. Accessible spots one day. Let's try to remember this spot. That's a crocodile! It looks tougher than most bugs I've seen. It's 
Not a good idea to try to fight that thing barehanded. Keep clear and attack from a distance! Run into enemies in the desert. Taking a head count is a good first step. Can't we just pick them off one by one? If there are only a few, sure. But with large groups, you risk getting surrounded. We're counting on you, Prince. complicated than I thought.
We can use this to find out about the area. If we can get we can repair it. Just need material. Okay, now for some hot intel on the area. What's going on? Yeah. I. F I. I, I should have known you. Is that. Oh, and oh. So, what do we do now? We have to find the king's water source. There's something fishy about it. I just know it. Yeah, but it's not going to be easy. We don't even know where it is, and it's definitely going to be well protected. The radio? You think Ari's going to get in trouble for telling us all that stuff? He's well aware that Zeo will discover what he's done before, before long, and that he will be punished for it. Then why did he tell us? What does he stand to gain? Perhaps it's in his blood. His father was a great man too, after all. Under the sand, Prince. It could surface anywhere. No, I know. It's under the. 
the sand, Prince. It could surface anywhere. Maybe we can lure it out with a powerful hit to the ground. It's under the sand, Prince. It could surface anywhere. Maybe you can lure it out with a powerful hit to the ground. Prince, watch out for the pincer! Make a living. Crafts, agriculture, hunting, trade, it's pretty varied. And some bad eggs resort to thievery, of course. We steal from humans sometimes, too. That's nothing to be proud of. Unless you're stealing from the army, that is. think you might be lost, you should check the map. Yeah, getting lost and having a backtrack would be a... Not a good idea to try to fight that thing barehanded. Ah, Pitch, get out of there! I think there's a cave or something under the quicksand. Ah, Pitch, get out of there! an attack from a distance! Good job!
harsh region. It's not easy to survive here, so most don't bother trying. Even in the old days, it was far from any rivers. Been like this for a long time. I guess you really can't survive without water, huh? Make sure to check your gear every now and then. You never know when something you've picked up might come in handy. Got it. I'll give him a look. Take you by surprise, just stay calm and try to get distance from them. And then run away. Running in a blind panic gives them more chances to hit you in the back. Assess the situation calmly instead. Ooh, I prefer running toward them. Spots. Let's try to remember this spot. Make sure to check your gear every now and then. You never know when something you've picked up might come in handy. The desert gets awfully chilly at night. Take precautions to ensure you don't lose too much body heat. We demons will be just fine. You humans who should worry. True. We seem to be more vulnerable to pretty much everything. We'll be careful.
Apart from being buried in the sand, it's in pretty good shape. The people here probably moved away after the river dried up. I hope that was it. What do you mean? It's not that easy for people to just up and abandon the place they were born and raised, you know? Here we go! Do you think we'll ever explore all of Sandland? Oh, that makes my head spin. I am intrigued, though. Gotta make the most of the journey. No holding back. Sure, but we know that water source has to be big enough to keep the whole kingdom alive. It's probably much larger than the legendary spring. could move there. I doubt the King of Demons would want to move. Which means we'd have the place to ourselves. I'm gonna play video games all day! And that's why he won't give you permission to move out on your own anytime soon. used to be any better in your day than it is now? I wonder. Knowing what I do now about the rebel army and the Peachy, I'm starting to think that everything I used to believe in was built on a foundation of sand. Including what you thought about demons? Yeah, that too. You've opened my eyes, most of all.
Supreme Commander Zeyu, we have General Are on the line. Give me that! Can you hear me, Are? What kind of lies have you been telling to the king, you bastard? And what of Tifa? Have you finished him or not? I'd appreciate some confirmation that you haven't completely lost your mind! Hello? Hello? Sorry, it seems reception's bad here. Can't hear what you're saying! Over! N no response from the troops guarding the water source or General Are. Wh what Dispatch my personal elite guard to the water source! Stop Shiva at all costs! <clears throat> According to information from the news office, a, a criminal organization attempted to go after the bounty on Shiva's head yesterday. But were instead defeated by him. With the help of a young but incredibly powerful red demon. A young red demon? That's Be Beelzebub! Beelzebub? Say who? Why is Shiva fighting alongside the Feed Prince? Get the research lab on the line! Can you hear me, Dr. Pose? And deploy our secret weapon as well! The, the insect men? That's too dangerous! They're not yet complete! I don't care! As long as they can kill Shiva and that demon, they're ready enough! Uh, as you wish. I thought Are said he gave all his soldiers an impromptu to holiday. Must be Zeus' lapdogs. They're tough. Stay on your toes. matter the situation. Clear thinking will lead you to victory, even when the odds are against you. You're talking to the feed prince. I'm like the definition of calm. to take the time to stop and observe your surroundings every now and then. You just might make some exciting discoveries. And if we can find some loot as a result, even better.
Make sure to check your gear every now and then. You never know when something you've picked up might come in handy. Got it. I'll give him a look. the southern tip. There's no water anywhere. Maybe so, but there are watchtowers everywhere. We're close. Do these old eyes deceive me? Try scaling that cliff over there. Zeus soldiers are up here too. Looks like there's something they really don't want us to see. Exactly. didn't dry up on its own. Guess planes are forbidden to keep people from seeing this. I don't understand humans. You go this far for money and power? Only one monster could come up with something like this. Commander Zeu. That stupid king is no more than a puppet, dancing on Zeu's strings. 
So, what should we do? First, we destroy this dam. After that, we do the same to Zeu. Something's coming toward us. I don't see anything. Oh, oh. It. I seriously don't understand humans. <laughs> At a loss for words now, are you? Just wait right there, Shiva. Beelzebub. I promise you that I will make it quick. This is bad. We'll be picked off. Hurry and get down! Pesky rats refuse to die. Dr. Pose, ready the insect men for battle! Uh, are you really sure about this? We still haven't been able to achieve complete control over them. Once they defeat the enemy, they may turn on nearby civilians. Oh. Idiot! What do you think we implanted those remote bombs in them for? Now go! Y yes sir. Huh? What's that round thing? Can it be? It's been a long time, Shiva. I'm surprised you're still alive. I could say the same to you. Then again, you're too power hungry to let even death get in your way. Why do you always have to go and cause such trouble, Shiva? Why can't you leave things in peace? Peace? Don't make me laugh. Is this tyranny what you call peace? I know everything, Zayu. I hope you're prepared for the consequences. You should be prepared for the consequences of crossing me! You have no idea who you're dealing with! Dr. Pose! Now! that prince that pod i don't like the look of it yeah i know there's a nasty smell about it the right call bringing me along. Even you wouldn't be able to handle this guy. Well, will you be okay, Prince? I think you guys are forgetting an important fact. I'm a fiend. <laughs> hey, Ugly. If you want to run now, I'll let you go. You're not 
not so tough. Hey, you all right? <laughs> Better be careful, Shiva! The Insect Man will attack any and every living creature on sight! My bad. Get in the tank with Thief! I'll draw it away from you guys! B but Now! Sorry! Come on, then. Bring it. Please allow me to join you. Appreciate it, old man. It's way too dangerous for you. Got it? Hide in the tank with feet! Take that! <laughs> How do you like- Like that, Beelzebub! It seems even the Great Fiend Prince is utterly helpless before its power! That's what you think! Done for. Believe me, you haven't really seen the prince yet. What? <laughs> you demons have been a thorn in my side for decades. But for this, it won't be long before none of you remain to plague me. Everyone underestimates Prince Beelzebub because of how kind hearted he is. But you seem to have forgotten something. When he said he is the most fearsome fiend in the world, he was telling the truth. When he snaps and unleashes the power of darkness, you'll learn the meaning of fear. This mad in ages. It's not safe here. Let's get a bit further back. How long do you intend to just stare off into space? He's only bluffing! Finish him off this instant! There. He should be far enough away now. Far enough? Aren't you overdoing it a bit? I once got too close. And nearly paid dearly for it. Counter attack! Insect man! Uh, so annoying! So far, so 
good. I can't believe it. What power? See? I told you. How? How can... <sighs> can you... understand me? If you can, then... we don't need to do this. If you can't kill Beelzebub yourself, just self-destruct and take him with you! Prince! Shiva! I've got a bomb with your name on it, too! What? Oh. General Ari. No, not like this. Shiva! You can't attack an enemy who's already surrendered! I'm no threat! Commander Zayu. Please! Just... just let me live! General Shiva! Reporting for my new assignment. I'm awful. General! We'll protect our home. No matter what it takes. I'm a father now. Here's my son. Isn't he cute? You're back. For you, I have no mercy.
now for the grand finale. Ooh, let me guess. Blasting that down to smithereens with the tank. All right, this is a good spot. Take aim from here. You got it. Good job. How's that? <sighs> How can a dam be this tough? How about you lot try firing at it with your tanks as well? Worth a try, but I'm not sure that's gonna cut it either. Ha ha ha! So even the great Shiva himself can't break down a wall this thick. The, the swimmer. swimmer! Those rats. They must have followed. What? You want to have another go? Well, wait a minute. We just wanted to give you a chance to purchase this here beauty. Be damned. Pretty serious ammunition for a bunch of two-bit crooks. This'll blast your dam to bits, I guarantee it! How's 30 million zenny sound? Please, like we have that kind of cash. You seem pretty friendly with the army. Isn't that just a drop in the bucket to them? Unfortunately, I'm about to be canned for betraying my oath of duty. I'm in no position to spare so much as 3,000 zenny, let alone 30 million. What? Dang! There goes my payday! But, Papa, you said you'd part with those shells for free! Idiot! Shut your tr- Fine. Let's just say you guys owe me one. Prince, that ammunition is precious. Do not miss. I know what I'm doing! Come on now! Break through! Just stand there gawping, think for a second. Anyone in the riverbed is going to be swept away. Oh, that's right. News office, this is General Ari speaking. I have an urgent message the entire nation needs to hear. People of Sandland, water is returning to the river. Warn everyone you can, as soon as possible, to stay clear of the riverbed. Let it be known that those who sought out what dried up the river and restored its flow are General Shiva, who's been slandered as a criminal, and two of the unfairly maligned race of demons, the Fiend Prince, Beelzebub, and his comrade Thief. Yay! I will need to reveal the truth behind the senseless genocide of the Peachy in the near future. For now, rejoice in the return of the river and peace to this land. <sighs> What's the meaning of this, General? Is it true that the water has returned to the river? Yes. Now there's enough water for everyone in Sandland again. Oh! Oh! Is that so? How er, wonderful. And the attack on the Peachy was a heinous conspiracy, carried out by Commander Zeo, who acted with full knowledge that what he was doing was wrong. Hmm. Just one big misunderstanding, I suppose. How about this? Why don't you share half of your own personal fortune with both the citizens of this country and the few remaining Peachy? Huh? If rumors got out about you being complicit in Zayu's scheme to cause and profit off the water shortage, that might sully your reputation. I would suggest making a serious effort to recapture the hearts of the people unless you want me. Making an unfortunate slip of the tongue. Best interest of keeping your reign from coming to a sudden end. Uh, 
<laughs> yes, of course. Perhaps I will do just that. Bravo, sire. I would expect nothing less from our esteemed and honorable king of Sandland. Now that was something. I can rest easy knowing that the military will be in your hands instead of Zeus. Me, Commander? Don't be absurd. I intend to retire from the army. I never did as much harm as Zeus, but I have blood on my hands as well. I'm just another villain. You should be the next Supreme Commander. You're joking. I'd never join the army again. You're the only choice for Supreme Commander. Go make a real king out of our foolish monarch, and protect the peace, okay? Hmm. Now, shall we go home? Good job! We'll have them lend us the tank for a little bit longer. So, Zeyu is no more? Yes, sir. Dispatch our troops at once. Remember, secrecy is imperative. Sir! <laughs> so it begins. The entire world will soon rest in the palms of our hands. Have to say, that was one powerful blast of water. I wonder if it's reached Spino yet. It looks like water's returned to Spino, too. Welcome back! You actually pulled it off! Look how happy everyone is! You're the ones who brought back their smiles! Give the credit to the old man! The rest of us were just along for the ride! <laughs> of course! Now then, I think it's time we paid our respects to the people who supported us along the way. Off you go then. I'll be in the garage. I wonder if people here will really accept... Take me in? Well, this isn't a decision I can make on my own. What's up? Pollock here wants to live in Spino. You're a peachy. Don't tell me you traveled here from the legendary spring alone. I did. Seeing all of you made me want to explore the world too. That was reckless of you. But why come to Spino? After Lassie told me about this place, I just knew I had to come visit. I swear, 
I'll make myself useful. Won't you let me stay? I mean, I don't really mind, but what can you do exactly? For starters, I can cook, do laundry, clean. Oh, and sew too. Wow, that's impressive. I can't do any of that stuff. Maybe so, but your skill with machines more than makes up for that. Aw, thanks, Gramps. Oh, I'm good with machines too. That's probably my forte, actually. That's the peachy for you. The town will grow now that the water's back. They'll need help. I'll personally ask Mayor Tor to let you stay here. Thank you! Now you just need a place to stay. What about here? Are you sure? Yeah, it's too big for me by myself. By the way, I thought up a way to soup up the jump bot. Really? Say no more. All done. Now you can charge your jump to go even higher! Whoa! Oh. <laughs> I could do this much in my sleep. Gaining a rival's turn- Way to go, Anne! I need to follow your example. Thank you, one and all! I promise to pull my weight! Do you need anything? See you later. <laughs> 